The World Series MVP Jeremy Pena serving up chicken tenders at the Raising Canes over in the Gulf Freeway this afternoon. You can still hear the cries and the shrieks of thousands oh, lined yes. up to see Jeremy Pena. <laughs> and listen, for those who waited, in some cases, many, many hours, they say it was worth the time and the crowds to see the budding superstar in person. Our own superstar, Chaz Miller, was there and has the story. Around noon today, Jeremy Pena arrived to Raising Canes with great fanfare. <laughs> Around noon yesterday, Nathan Vogel and his fiance, Skyla Horn, arrived at that same Raising Canes and spent the night in their car hoping to get a glimpse of their hero. So what was that like? I tried not to strangle him, but it was so fun. <laughs> and at 12.17 this afternoon, the waiting paid off for the couple from Dayton, Texas. Was it worth the hours in line? Yes. Vogel, who made the trip in honor of his late grandmother, wasn't the only one who said it was worth the wait. I'm still so emotional. I'm in love with him. He was great. He asked me for my name. He told me what I needed, what kind of drink I want, how I was going to pay for it. Pena spent about 20 minutes serving guests at the drive through and about the same amount of time serving inside. But the ringing in his ears, well, that'll probably last a little longer. Jazz Miller, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.